Welcome to our tutorial on creating a procedural winter landscape. Today we'll guide you through three steps to create a simple scene using procedural modelling techniques in 3ds Max and Forest Pack. So the first step is to create the landscape. We'll begin with a basic plane in the scene with enough subdivisions to be deformed into a landscape, plus a spline that defines the outline of the stream. Now, copy this spline as a reference. Add an extrude modifier and adjust the amount until it intersects with the landscape. Then apply a shell modifier to give it some thickness. Right click on the object, navigate to the object's properties and disable renderable. While you're here, set it to display as a box for easier management in the viewports. Select the landscape, add a volume select modifier, set the selection level to vertex, the mode to replace and select by to mesh object. Use the excluded spline as the mesh object. So to define the stream's depth, add a push modifier and use a negative value. To adjust the stream's width, return to the volume select modifier and tweak the soft selection settings. The fall off value sets the width, while the pinch and bubble settings help to shape the profile of the stream's banks. Make the landscape more organic by adding modifiers like a noise modifier or an open subdiv for a smoother appearance. Finally, for the landscape's texture, we've used a simple snow material. This is well covered by other people, so check the description for a link to a recommended tutorial. Now onto step two, adding the water. We'll create the original spline again as a reference and add a renderable spline modifier. Then set the length and the width and then position the spline appropriately. Finally, we'll simply apply some chosen water or ice material. Once again, we're not going to cover that here. So for step three, we're going to move to the trees and the plants. Once again, we're going to use the original spline, this time to add the trees and plants with forest pack. Since it's a winter scene, we're going to choose snowy trees. Now, if you don't have any, there's a tutorial link in the description for a handy tip on how to make any tree into a winter version or any object for that matter. So create a new forest pack object by clicking on the surface. Add your chosen trees to the items list and adjust the distribution density. To exclude trees from the river, add the same river spline and set the mode to exclude. You can now use the thickness parameter to control the vegetation's proximity to the stream. And that's really all there is to it. You can add multiple vegetation layers for a richer scene, but in our winter setup we've kept it simple with just bushes and shrubs. Feel free to add more for different seasons. The beauty of this system is its flexibility. To change the river's course, you simply modify the original spline and the landscape water and trees all update automatically. Here you can see I'm just moving the river slightly to the right. Stay tuned for more exciting content in the new year and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.